Hello everyone, Carla here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be filming my July budget and I know I'm filming this kind of late. Right now I'm filming it on 4th of July. I Hopefully I can get this up to you guys a lot sooner because I feel like it's gonna be a really really long video because I would like to set everything up with you and discuss as much as I can with you guys. And as you guys notice, this is the new setup as far as the new apartment so i really really love it it's a lot of new things because i'm also using my new erin condren monthly planner which is their kind of budgeting planners it has monthly tabs and it has a lot of note pages so i just have this new cover it's just full of pictures as you guys know i love you know my family so i they're like all over my things right now like i i feel like i've been using the same pictures of every time because these are my favorite pictures as far as like our milestones within our life together but i'm gonna go ahead and jump to july i haven't really set up this planner that much like i pretty much put down like the monthly stickers right here but nothing else. I haven't even put down the calendar, which I'm not going to do right now because that's not the main focus. I did take out the kind of dashboard here because I really don't use that, that page anyways. So I'm just going to take it off. And I think I got a couple of questions why I'm switching back to Erin Condren. It's because of the paper. Like their paper quality has grit on it. And while plum paper has really good paper as well the paper on their planner is very smooth and it's still okay to write with but i use a point yeah point seven because they're thicker it just smears a lot that was just an issue but i just really like the paper grit here as well so i'm gonna use my stickers which i have a bunch over here and if i need more I'm just gonna grab from my pile over there that's the beauty of having your own shop or making your own stickers i do highly recommend getting your own sticker cutter if you are interested in like you know getting stickers just to save you some money i also have my plum paper here as a cheat sheet to what i need to get done because there is a lot of changes as far as my budget because we have moved out so there's a couple of things and also there's some bills that i transferred into cash that's just something you'll see here in a little bit so hopefully everything goes well and also my husband did get a job so he's gonna start getting paid as well and he gets paid weekly so that'll allow me to cash stuff every week which is very exciting because that's what i you know i love doing but over here my bank is like nowhere to be found so hopefully i can i'm like nervous about that because there's really nothing around us it's everything is like 15 to 20 minutes away and i don't drive as you guys know so it's hard to kind of juggle going back and forth in the bank and you know going to work and mia too so we'll see if my cash stuffing isn't as consistent as it was before it's because of that and i just can't control it I'll try to get to it as soon as I can and we'll still continuously film it. It's just going to be like very spontaneous as far as the uploads. I try to aim for Sundays or weekends on the cash stuffing just to give you guys the heads up. But I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to go ahead and start with this video. And I'm going to have the same setup pretty much. Nothing has changed except for some small things. I was thinking that if I could, you know, update my debt tracker, but I don't have all the numbers yet, so I actually won't be able to do that. Be prepared. I think this video is going to take a while because there's just a lot of stickers that we're going to set up. And I do skip, like, lining everything up. And sometimes I don't, like, fill everything up. I just basically show you what I feel comfortable showing you. I don't know, like, as far as the length of the video because I don't want this to be too, too long. But I really am happy that they took out everything that's as far as like over here on the notes because I don't have to white out anything anymore. And of course, if you see my head popping up, don't worry about it. Oh my gosh, I think I did this wrong. I think I'll just do it down here. Yeah. I'm doing it slanted. I don't know why. There we go. So this is where I'm going to set up my debt tracker and like I said, I won't be able to fill it up because I don't have all the numbers yet. I usually get all the numbers for my updated debt tracker for the month around the 7th of the month. I'm just going to update you guys maybe on my Instagram. I haven't been updating you guys a lot because as you guys know, I've been busy. For my debt tracker, I think, yeah, I think I already told you or I haven't, but 
I have paid off our well, my husband's Robin's credit card. So that's that's that. We did have to use a little bit of our savings because we only got to save like 178, I believe, when we had a 259 month like bill left on there, which is fine. We just had to throw in a little bit more because I really want that credit card to be done. I was trying to set it up and I was able to achieve that with a help from our savings. So right now I only have my student loans, which actually went down a little bit. It's on the six thousands now. I didn't pay anything off for something, but it just went down to six thousand eight hundred instead of seven thousand one hundred, which is weird. I don't know why. And then I have my candidates. Maybe a, a bunch of you guys know why, but I really haven't looked into it. And then I have Capital One. And then my credit card. So I put K Robbins because that's mine because my husband had a Robbins credit card as well. And I just put T Robbins there just so it's not so confusing. So yes, that is basically it. It used to be way, way longer if you guys don't remember. My debt used to be like when I had the fire. So that was when we had so much debt. It was a lot of credit card debt and... You know, we had that Firestone one and also my ring, but we paid that off, thankfully. So I'm just going to line that up later and then we're going to move on to the July budget. Right here, I'm going to use the leaves one. A lot of you guys seem to like this one. And like I said earlier, there's going to be a lot of changes as far as our budget goes. But kind of still similar, but... Everything's just going to be more on the cash side. I feel like it's slanted, but it's not. Okay, so July budget. I don't know if this lighting is good. I feel like it's too bright. No, no. And not as much color, but I feel like you can see everything clearly. But it's my July budget. Kind of want it a little bit more centered. There. But I absolutely love filming here because it's so bright and I can see everything as far as like, you know, brightness goes. And I just love it here because, well, I like, I like the apartment, but I don't like the area. I don't know if we'll stay here for a long time, but that's still like in the works. We're still talking about that. Okay, so for July budget, I am expecting four paychecks. P1. But since my hus husband got the job, which is amazing. As far as like looking for a job, he has found one and he's been looking. It's just he's trying to find the good ones, which he was very patient. And, you know, he found a good one, a better job than what he had before. So I'm actually going to put YouTube here as well. Hopefully this time around, this month around, my YouTube paycheck will actually go into my budget because lately we've been using it like, like last month I used it for my shop and then this month I used it for for the move to help us with the move so hopefully this month it'll all go to us actually no it went to my budget because I didn't make enough that's just the case for paycheck one that's gonna be on the eighth seven eight then seven four this paycheck too because it's gonna be when my husband's paycheck kicks in because he starts on like next thursday and then 22 and then the 29th and then for a youtube paycheck that's always on the 21st sometimes it's on the 22nd but i just put the 21st my estimate for paycheck one is 800 and then paycheck two is gonna be 500 and I always under estimate here just in case and then 500 on YouTube as well so my total is gonna be 2,800 which is a lot but also I, our bills have increased so we need a lot basically and I'm gonna use this one which is kind of cute to kind of break off to our fixed and our variable expenses for the month as you guys know, I don't use the bottom here, but I still have it as an option because, you know, maybe one day 
I'll figure my stuff out. But for fixed expenses, you know, we have our debt. Then we have phone bill. And then insurance. And this insurance is um, car insurance as well as we added um, renter's insurance here, which was like $13. So increase a little bit. And then we have gas. Which my actually my husband job is actually on the town that we used to live in. So we're actually debating on moving back. I know guys, stressful. But I know a couple of you guys will have some suggestions, will have your opinions about it. And you know, it's just I mainly decide with however we decide and I do read your comments about suggestions and stuff, but ultimately like it's our decision so you're free to put in your opinions about the matter but yes I think we are trying to move back there just because you know his job is closer and Mia's daycare is there because we haven't pulled her out of daycare still so we still have the option to move back there so we're still figuring things out I just kind of give want to give you guys all heads up as like you know as courtesy but yes we are thinking of moving back there and also our kind of support system with our kid is there and if we ever want to have another one you know since we are in the income bracket that we kind of want to be when we were talking about having another one we might think about having one more and that's it so i think having the support system over there is just a lot better but we're still in between you know still thinking about everything everything's not like finalized but we do love it here it's just nothing's around here and there's also like a train track right in front of us and one time the train came by around six in the morning and it woke us up it didn't wake me up though it woke us up but that was stressful and scary to wake up with like train noises like i said it's always better like when we were before because we have a kitchen we have a place we have a bathtub for Mia and it's just you know we're just thinking about things since opportunities seem to come like in like a better way hopefully it continues that way once we pay off our debts since we only have four when we had so much before so we're knocking them down slowly we are getting closer to the bigger numbers which are like the 2000 to 3000 even though my ring was like the 4000 one we paid that off real quick because that was like the most interest but i went off on a tangent like i said this is going to be a long video just to kind of make up for not having any budgeting videos but yes you are very, definitely feel free to you know put down your comments down below very nicely as a lot of you guys are doing um and I'll definitely read through them and I've gotten such suggestions before and I thought about them and didn't take them but you guys are always so sweet but we are on the gas and then we have Wi-Fi and then we have subscriptions which is just our Hulu and Netflix and I know why we have both but we are um what do you call this Netflix is kind of you know our family thing like everyone's on netflix and hulu is just kind of like my husband and i's thing and then we have rent which is gonna be way more this time around it's not gonna be 200 dollars anymore and then we have electric which is something new we've never had electric before but of course that comes with moving thankfully our rent comes with water and utilities and garbage and all that stuff all right, so the total we're gonna put down here. It's a little bit longer than usual, but that's to be like expected from, you know, moving out. And then our variable expenses, I can make it like a little bit lower here just to kind of have a different dynamic with the look. I don't know. Okay, food is of course a variable. And I think food is gonna be yeah 480 that might be different because we're transitioning again from bi-weekly to weekly but 480 is just the estimate I'll put that estimate later on okay 
actually let me put the estimate down so for debt we are estimating 226 which is a lot lower than we were paying before when i started this back in october of 2020 our estimate for minimum payments for debt was like 450 something almost 500 dollars so that's cut in half since we've been like tackling it a lot which i'm so proud of us and then phone is going to be the same 163 and then insurance is actually going to be 117 it was 103 before the renter's insurance but we added like i think 13 dollars and then gas is going to be 160 because my husband still has to drive to and from the other town to our town but i don't and then we have Wi-Fi, which is $70. Subscription is gonna be 28. And our rent is actually 830. It's not too bad. I know a lot of you guys are from like bigger cities and you're probably like 830 is like half of my rent, but that is a lot for me right now. And I'll try to keep, like if we do move out again, I'll try to keep within that range or maybe the highest I can go is a thousand. Nothing over that because, mm -mm. Electric is gonna be 170 and that's just an estimate. We've never paid electric by ourselves before because we've always had roommates So I don't know and we've always done the pay as you go. So allowance. Yeah, it's we don't have a clothes sinking fund So I take it from Mia's allowance if I buy her clothes and then I buy myself clothes So that gets taken out of my allowance and then sinking funds is actually gonna be 250 it used to be 300 sometimes 400 but since we cut down on our sinking funds, I only have five sinking funds. Well, actually six, but the five is the only ones that I fund. The other one is the one that says for Miha, and I actually just take money from our allowance and put it in there. And then miscellaneous is gonna get 40. It used to get 100 every month, but I think, you know, $40 is a lot more reasonable, I think for now. And then challenge, so you guys know, I took off my $100 savings challenge and I replaced it with the $5, $10, and $50 savings challenge. The $5 and $10 and whenever I do have extra that I see laying around, I just stuff it in there and I don't update you guys. It's just kind of like a thing that I do. But the $50 challenge, I do update you guys. And then I have taxes here for my business because my business does help my budget but I don't budget anything for that. It just kind of varies and sometimes I don't even tell you guys when I do put money in there. It's just kind of random but I don't put for unbudgeted anymore. I know some people do but it's been working out for us because I mean I can track our unbudgeted with our separate money like our separate bank account for that. So it's been working out, and then I just put change around the settings a little bit how do you guys like that i think that one's better but i'm just gonna change the lines oh and i'm actually gonna put the total i already totaled this off camera just to save us some time so this one is 1764 then this one is 1070 dollars is the estimate and then we're gonna I don't actually close my budget with you guys, but maybe in this month I'll have more time to close it. But we're gonna move on to the next page, which is the expenses, savings challenge, and sinking funds page. Since we have four paychecks for the month, we'll have four paychecks right here, which is one, two, three, four. So I'm just gonna do that really quick. I'm really excited to be going back to weekly and I don't know it's just the 
the bank part that I'm so nervous about, like not having our bank here. The bank runs are gonna be slower and the cash stuffings are gonna be slower. That's okay. But this page is gonna look a lot different because, I don't know, some of our stuff is different. So we're gonna put down all of our bills here and some of them are gonna be new, like I said. I'm not sure when our electric is due and if our Wi-Fi has changed. So I'm just gonna put them, I'm gonna put the electric at the top with the rent. I'm assuming it's due on the first, we'll see. But here I'm gonna put rent and then electric and then my husband's phone it's pretty much the same things almost and then candens which i cannot wait to get rid of this credit card and then student loan internet or I just call wi-fi i'm just gonna change it to wi-fi so it's shorter and then my my phone we have our insurance for the car as well as well as renter's insurance and then my robin's credit card which is the next thing we're tackling now because it's like 1400 and then netflix and then capital one hulu and then food or actually i'm gonna put gas here i'm actually separating gas for my husband's allowance and that's gonna be cash again and then food and then my husband's allowance and then mine i used to have this mixed up with my baby and then we have mia and miscellaneous and then i also put debt here like any extra debt that we put in as well as the emergency fund i'm just gonna put em and then taxes and then i kind of use the bottom here to kind of break it all off Cops, this is july 14th july 14th okay thank you so yeah, so our Wi-Fi has changed from the, it was the 9th and now it's the 14th. So I'm going to mark that. I don't feel like rearranging this, so I'm just going to fix it on the next month. Because I usually try to like have it arranged, like sequence it by date or chronologically order, whatever. But rent is the first. Electric, I'm not sure. Husband's phone is the first. Yeah, Cadence is the first. Student loan is the third. K phone is on the 12th still. Insurance is on the 15th. My Robins is the 20th. Netflix is the 21st. Capital One is the 22nd. And then Hulu is the 28th. So I just like to put the the dates there and then of course I'm going to line it up here. And I also like to put the dates of when we do get paid here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put the 8th here. 8th, 15th, 22nd, and the 29th. Just kind of have it memorized because I've been doing this. Like I've been figuring out my budget since last night before showing you guys. But that's basically how my expenses page looks like. And then imagine it all lined up. Of course, I'll show you guys every page later on. And then we're going to move on into the savings challenge, which is pink ones. I'm actually going to use, let me use this cute thing to kind of close it off here. I don't know, I'm a sticker budgeter as you guys have noticed and I really really enjoy the stickers more than you know digital and I love watching people do the digital because it's a lot better to see like it's easier on the eyes but I just like sticker a lot more. Savings challenge. So I didn't think I was going to put this here but you know we do have savings challenge we just kind of transitioned from one to another. We have the $5, the $10 and the 
but as you guys know i don't budget for the five dollar and ten dollar just kind of throw whatever i can in there but i'm gonna put it here just in case you know i always change my mind as you guys know so i'll put the five dollar here the ten and the fifty dollar but my main main goal to put with our money is the fifty dollar because that's the one that replaced my one hundred dollar savings challenge it's just a lot easier to put $50 increments rather than like sometimes $80, sometimes $90. I think it's just easier for me. We're going to go with the sinking funds right here. I don't have a lot of sinking funds category anymore, which is perfectly fine. But I don't mind putting sinking funds categories in the future, but we'll see what we need to. And if we need to add clothing, I debated on clothing for a long time because we have been using that a lot. And as well as traveling. I don't know. We'll see since everything is opening up soon. Or maybe like my my challenges will go to traveling. We'll see. Because we only try to do like one travel like a year. And we haven't really been thinking of anything. But my husband and I have never been to a different state together. It's always been like separate he goes to texas a lot which i want to go to texas with him when with mia so that's one more thing that we do want to try i'm actually using my purple binder as reference here for my sinking funds so i have one that's for Mia, and then medical medical has taken a hit guys i need to re plump this up and then we have gifts And Christmas and then family time which has a hundred dollars I'm so happy because it's gonna be the summer now and Mia can eat vanilla ice cream I think like little increments so we can go get some ice cream whenever we do visit the other town which has a lot more stuff in it so we have car maintenance here and then that's it because our down payment is gone which maybe we have to think about again because we are thinking about moving again we're just gonna not worry about that this month because not everything is finalized still everything's just floating and being thought of nothing's like this is like a final decision so family time coming you know our sinking funds is significantly smaller which is okay because we have our other priorities i'm trying to use this up because i really like like emptying up all the sticker shades like look at this so are things being used then we're gonna add more if we need to and take off if we need to but that's basically it for this page and then the next page is just my paycheck one through four setup and you guys already know how that looks like so i'm actually gonna like fast forward through this part because it's nothing very interesting and nothing really new it's just gonna be four paychecks instead of two so i don't want to be like taking up all your time <laughs>
Alright, so now that we're done with this page, and of course everything looks weird right now because there's no lines. I'm going to line them up later, like I said. I know I keep repeating myself just to kind of let you guys know. This page is going to turn into my sinking funds page, and I know I already have a sinking funds page right here. But you guys know what I'm talking about when I do say sinking funds page, or actually I can make this into the sinking funds page because I don't want to waste any paper. So I'm just going to turn this into that. Maybe if I don't use... Yeah, maybe if I don't use a big washi, it'll fit. Because I don't like seeing this empty slot here. So... We're trying to preserve pages here. Even if I'm not going to use the pages, I don't, I don't like this empty space here. Because, you know, it feels like it's wasteful. So we're going to put the sinking funds here. Like I said, I keep saying that. We're going to put the beginning and the end balance here. Just to kind of show you guys how I use the different kind of sinking funds that I do have on my shop since I have two versions. So here I'm going to put the Formiha. So my sinking funds had like 2,000 and something before because I also include the savings challenge. But this time around, since we took off the $100 savings challenge, which has 1,000 in it, it'll be significantly lower, but that's the purpose of sinking funds. You're just keeping in track of what goes in and out of the envelopes and as well as the challenges, the savings challenge. So we're going to put for Miha and then medical and then gifts. Christmas, family time, and car maintenance. I don't know why I put a dot there, but that's okay. So we have that. And then our challenges, we have the $5, the $10, and the $50 savings challenge so it did fit thankfully I don't think it would have fit if we added like that big washi there but this fits perfectly fine for right now for this page I'm actually going to work with it with the lined look just so you guys can see how it would look but I'm actually going to count every um I actually have the tracker I have a tracker here but I mean I could count with you guys because we haven't been doing like an updated singing funds so I like to update myself how much is in here okay so we have 1 2 3 4 5 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 5 so that's 595 almost $600 in Mia's envelope medical has 25 that's not hard because I have the tracker on the back. And then gifts has 205. Christmas has 390. So close to $400. Family time has $100. Car maintenance has 185. Okay. And I do have caps for some of these. Some of them I don't. And then we're gonna count the challenges. So $5 savings challenge. I do have a tracker in the back, but it doesn't give me the total. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75 in here. How much we have so i just throw in the fives that i see laying around <laughs> if i have extra 75 as well as the ten dollars because these are smaller increments so we have 10 20 30 and 40. sorry i'm counting weird because i'm hungry and i am shaky when i'm hungry so I'm just getting through this video because <laughs> i wasn't hungry in the beginning of this video and now i am because i've only had my coffee and then $50 savings challenge. I have two 50s in here. So that's going to be 100. 
All right, so now we can total everything up. So we have 595 plus 25 plus 205 plus 390 plus 100 plus 185 plus 75 plus 40 plus 100. So we have 1715 in our sinking funds and our savings challenges. And then we'll see how we do for this month. I hope we do well. And that's the exciting part about closing the budget and updating you guys on the sinking funds. Even if I don't close the budget, I think I'll update you guys on how much we've saved up for the sinking funds. Out of all the mess that we've been through, I have finally finalized how they would look like every page with lines as well as all of the updates I can show you guys. So I have my debt tracker right here and then I have my sinking funds. I have July budget with the variable and fixed expenses. And then I have my expenses page. I have savings challenge up there. I have sinking funds down here. And then finally I have paycheck one, paycheck two, paycheck three, paycheck four over here with all of the highlighting and the extra spaces that I think I would need as well as the line pages. And then that's it. I feel like Erin Condren used to have more pages here or maybe I'm just so used to with a plump paper, but I do have like one two three excess page and i will do my youtube paycheck here once i do have that so i'll have like one page extra just in case if i do have to expand to extend to paycheck five i'll have that extra page but that's basically how it looks over here and then i usually plan everything with pencil when once everything or when the paycheck lands that's when i put everything else here but that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed you know chit chatting with me and listening to me ramble but i will see you guys on my next video which hopefully will be a cash stuffing or a vlog but i have enjoyed showing you guys our journey from mia's birthday to us moving out to budgeting to this new place i will see you guys on my next video you guys have a great fourth of july bye